Now that you know about SIPOC, aspects of your project, it takes a few minutes to review the work you did in your charter. Now let us get into voice of customer. Let's talk about voice of customer. Customer is a king, right? What are the goals? Be able to identify the main customer. The very important thing in problem solving is, we said any business need growth, profit and stability. And this growth, profit and stability, you will get only by customer satisfaction. And what does a customer want? The customer wants PQCD. What is PQCD? He wants the right product, right quality, right cost and right delivery. The problem solving has to come from the strategic objectives of the organization. What I mean by this is, if the growth is not okay, why the growth is not okay? If the profit is not okay, why the profit is not okay? The growth is not okay because we are not selling more products. The profit is not okay because we are having a lot of rejections, quality issues. Now from there, you can say, which product has got a problem? We can say, which process has got the quality issues? So you need to get into the process level. And then in the process level, you need to define the problem, define the scope. In scope, we spoke about product scope, process scope, and machine scope. Now, when you talk about customers, the customers are not just the end customers. The customers can also be the next process or the subsequent process. The suppliers can be the previous process. So we call it as internal customers and external customers. So we need to be able to identify the main customers who use the product or service or at least two market segments that might be relevant to your project. Let me take an example. Suppose if you are serving pizzas, who are your main customers for pizza? If you were to say the age group, if you're going to provide a pump, for example, the mechanical pump or a valve, which are the two markets that a valve can go? Just name two industries. Well, automotive also uses pumps, construction uses pumps and so on and so forth. Okay. So you need to be very clear about market segments and you need to be clear about who the main customers are. Second is, you should be able to write at least six key open-ended questions. Be able to identify at least three reactive sources and three proactive sources for your project. In fact, these are the terminologies which you would not have heard about in voice of customer. And I will talk about exactly what the reactive sources of data are what proactive sources of data are, okay? And then you have to create a preliminary plan for collecting the voice of data. A simple voice of data is a survey that represents voice of data, feedback forms or interviews. We'll talk about various ways in which you can gather what customer wants. And then use tree diagrams to identify CTQ. CTQ is critical to quality. Give a simple example of a coffee. Suppose the voice of the customer is, suppose if you ask what type of coffee do you want? Strong, light, medium. So this is the voice of customer. But how do I translate that into quality requirement? Suppose if I say strong coffee, if you have 100 ml coffee, how much of that decoction makes a strong coffee? Okay, so if you see here, in the process, you need to add milk, you need to add decoction, you need to add water, or you need to add sugar. Okay, so this critical to quality is those specifications. So the voice of the customer should be clearly understood. Similarly, if you say hot coffee, I love to convert that into a temperature. How much is the temperature? So that is critical to quality. From voice of the customer to critical to 
quality.